millions of Christians throughout the world, your Imperial Majesty, who regard you as the reincarnation of Jesus Christ. I had heard of that idea. I also met certain Rastafarians. I told them clearly that I am a man, that I am mortal, and that I will be replaced by the oncoming generation, and that they should never make a mistake in assuming or pretending that the human being is emanated from a deity. make a mistake in assuming or pretending that the human being is emanated from a deity. Throughout the world, your Imperial Majesty will regard you as the reincarnation of Jesus Christ. I had heard of that idea. I also met certain Rastafarians. I told them clearly that I am a man, that I am mortal, and that I will be replaced by the oncoming generation, and that they should never make a mistake in assuming or pretending that the human being is emanated from a deity. Teaching, 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 teaching. The Ethiopian church belongs to the monophysite group of churches which teach that Christ had one nature, that his humanity and divinity became one without intermixing, and that his divinity never separated from his humanity. In which our Lord himself gave the command to go to all the world and to preach. His Imperial Majesty is really responding to that point of reincarnation and of Christ. Jesus Christ, you gotta understand that. Nowhere in what he said. Now see some of y'all will say, well he say he's a man, he's a mortal. What should he say? He's a fairy tale or something like that? You understand? What what should he say? That he's not building a foundation for eternal generations, and we therefore, you understand, through the good grace of the Almighty, inherit that as our divine inheritance. Nowhere in there did he ever say Christ. Nowhere in there did he ever say Messiah, and we just go by the translation they provide. Nowhere in there does he ever say, I deny my divinity. But you see, coming from a Western Gentile misinterpretation, you understand, that does not understand the difference in so called monophysitism, which really for Ethiopia should be called Tawahido, and Dia. Uh, 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 dia, 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 dia physicism, and then dia physicism. In other words, two natures, which is the Roman Catholic, what they call the Orthodox belief. You understand? Which is two indistinct and different. So when Western Christian comes along, and one who doesn't really understand the Bible nor the true interpretation, and you understand of Jesus Christ's work and his purpose and his ministry. You understand? They'll read that and think that he's talking about what they have in their head, which is wanting the many denials of being God. No way in there he denied being God. He says, don't make the mistake in assuming or pretending that a human being is emanated from a deity. Here's how you catch it. Here's how you really catch it. Ask them what does it mean to be emanated? What, what is emanated? Do, can they explain any religious or spiritual principles and any religions or faiths, including Christianity, that speak of emanation? Can you show me any verses in the Bible which talk about emanation in your translation? Can you find it? Any, any emanation? You can. You know what I'm saying? Christ was born of a woman. He didn't fly. He wasn't emanated like a, like a spirit or a spook or something like that. He wouldn't walk on water. You know what I'm saying? He says, it is I. Real, real flesh and blood walking on this water here. You understand? He said, Thomas, come touch, touch, put your finger in my side. Go ahead, put your finger in the hole of my, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm real. 
Now, a lot of people don't want you to know this. That's why they didn't give it to you before. But quite simply, directly into the point, the definition of emanation philosophy. Don't give us devil's philosophy to teach him his majesty. But here's the emanation philosophy. In Neoplatonist philosophy, it was believed that all of reality was simply an emanation from the one whom they call God. In addition, the farther away from the one an emanation moved, the more degraded and corrupted it became. Humans, man and mortals, are considered material creatures and matter is the farthest and most corrupted form of emanation. Thus, according to so-called emanation philosophy, it was the proper goal of humans to return to the one by moving through the higher stages, first soul, then mind, noose, so forth and so on. Basically a false philosophy. Give us the teachings of his imperial majesty. We don't want no devil's philosophy. So you see his imperial majesty was warning us about these so-called emanation religions like Hinduism and Buddhism and Confucianism which a lot of so-called brothers and sisters have confused and mixed and mingled with the true teachings of His Majesty or in place of the true teachings of His Imperial Majesty. That's why they believe, many do, that His Imperial Majesty denied being Christ when He said nothing about being Christ in His response, said nothing about being the Messiah, he gave a theological warning to the brethren. And it's about time we take heed of his imperial majesty's warning and we receive the teachings of his imperial majesty, not all these devil's philosophies. I, I'm, I'm, I'm real. I'm real.